Yo, it's your boy Young Kass. I'm here with Mikey T, the movie star. Report card ready, yo. You already know what it is. Yeah. So I had an ill conversation with Chinks too before he died. I'm gonna tell you how I found out about Chinks. I seen last time I seen I seen Chinks twice before he passed away. I seen Chinks at a uh, Super Bowl Super Bowl party at Stage Twenty Eight. He, he was with Bino, and he was just he was just really frustrated with the game. And at the time, I didn't understand because he had um fuck about your feelings. He had that shit all over the radio. They was going crazy. He was just like he was kind of like in a funk, like yo, you know, everybody just praising French niggas. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. He wasn't dissing French, but he was just feeling like he was at a point where he was feeling unappreciated. You know what I'm saying? So I was just like, yo, bro, if that shit ain't affecting your money, don't worry about that shit. Get to your bread. You one of the hottest niggas out. Don't worry about that other shit. That shit come with the game. I've been in it for a run. You know me. I know Chinks forever. He used to hang out with my, my dudes in Harlem. You know what I'm saying? The 49ers, the teams that I was talking about earlier. Chinks been around this when he first came home from jail and all that. So, um. Yeah, that's when he first hit me. I, I, I seen him. I seen him at the Super Bowl party. Then I seen him at this club called Solowets in a town I was out. I was out in Middletown living for a minute, and he had did a walk through uh, for the club. And I seen him tap me on my shoulder, gave me a hug. It was like, "I love you, bro. Love you." We chopped it up, drunk some champagne, smoked some weed. And he broke out. He made sure he told me he loved me before he broke out. And that's the last time I seen Chinks alive. Now, we on a road in North Carolina. I'm with you, Wells. We on a road. We doing a show. Me, Black of Dawn, shout out to Black of Dawn, and um, Flea Guard. He, he incarcerated right now, um, Free Flea Guard. Um, we sitting in the diner. Like, everybody went back to the hotel. We went to, like, to, like, a diner or to, like, a... Uh, Waffle out some shit, and it was just a picture of a poor shot the fuck up. I was like, damn, whoever got hit up, and whoever got hit up, and that shit died, right? Like six minutes after that, I get a phone call. Joel was just like, yo, where y'all at? We like at the dining getting some food. I'm like, you want to? He was like, nah. He was like, yo, niggas killed chinks. Niggas shot him up. I was like, oh, shit, that's that's who Car That was? He was like, whoa, you seen that shit? I was like, you we ain't even know who the fuck Car That was. That's how I found out about Chinks. Word up. So Jewel's actually hit you and told you about Chinks? Yeah, because we was on the road, and we was at a restaurant. Like like I said, everybody after the show, they went back to the hotel. We was hungry, so we went to go get some food, and we got the call from Jewel's, and we went back. It was just... It was just quiet. We just started listening to Mad Chinks music, like, yo, damn, on the way back, because we was all in the home, the Sprinter, you know what I'm saying? And we was just like, that's fucked up. The guy that was with him, shout out to Yemen. My boy, Ock with the Glock, that was in a car with him. I went to go see him in the hospital when he got shot up. And at the time, Coke Boys and Dipset wasn't even fucking with each other here. Me and Zeke went to go see him because when I came, he said, yo, Zeke just came to see me. He said, he said, yo, Frenchie, nobody came to see me. He said, y'all, he said, that's crazy. How dipset niggas came to see me and Frenchie ain't come see me. That's what Yemen told him. Word. I remember that shit like it was yesterday. He had tubes all in him, holes all in his stomach and shit. He was just in a bed. I wanted to go see him because I've been fucking with Yemen for years. You know what I'm saying? He had a, he got, he got a few stores in my neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So he used to run around in his little bands and shit that was wrapped like a Gucci hat, like the red and green stripe on it. We used to call him Gucci Ock and all that. So I went to go see him in the hospital all the way in Queens. And to this day, he always, you know, show me love because of that. You know what I'm saying? So, Do you have any music that you're working on? I know you told me you had the Vanilla Sky 3 project that I just dropped. Yeah, I just dropped Vanilla Sky 3 on Christmas Day. Go get it, like I said. You can go stream it, but if you're proud to pay, you can buy it from me straight direct through my DM 
on Instagram. My I am on cops. You can buy it straight from me through my cash app, dollar sign X O R I B E A R Zori Bear, which is my daughter's pet name. And um, you the the uh, digital copy with the front cover and the back cover. Um, comes with the package. It's also a hundred dollar bundle. You can buy the digital copy with the merchandise, which is a Vanilla Sky commemorative hoodie or the release of the uh, new project. So, like I said, you can go stream it on Apple Music and um, Spotify and Tidal. But if you want to support me and what I got going on, you, you can go buy it digitally for $20 through my cash app. X -O, dollar sign X-O-R-I-B-E-A-R. -R. That's Zori Bear. And um. Hit me at Cranberry and Vodka, K A, I mean K R A N B E R R Y N V O D K A, Cranberry and Vodka with a K. Um, that's my merch page. You can check that out. You can get the merch from that page. The website come in the top of uh, uh, spring 2021. In in the meantime. Time you can get the uh, merch through my DM and my Instagram. So that's what I got going on right now. Um, episode two of season three of the Brooklyn Way will be out January 12th. So y'all tune in for that. Um, uh, big, big all on the way early spring. Um, collaboration with Big Juice, located out in Atlanta. Shout out to Dave, rest in peace, Aunt Ann, rest in peace, Aunt Uncle Joe. Um, what else I got coming up? Vanilla Sky Four, top of the spring. Um, that's about it, man. Um, episode thirty-three coming soon. Uh, Uncas True Hip Hop Stories, um, violence and hip hop. Salute, man. Shout out to Mikey T, the movie star. You know, the Park Card Radio. Yeah.